this is Eric Moore with Mother.com. Let's take a look at gold, which has had a nice couple of months. And as we come to the end of trading for the month of January 2019, let's take a look at the long term picture here for gold, miners, and silver. Again, at the end and conclusion of the month of January 2019. Let's take a look here and we are back to an area of the RSI as far as GLD is concerned, which has been a problem. So go back to this break here in 2012, early 2013. And this has been an area where gold has struggled. So depending on whether it finds resistance again around here, or whether it breaks out that's going to determine the next major multi-month move right now given the fact that we've had a good couple of positive closes on a monthly basis so month one month two three and four nice recovery there looks like we are back at an area where more than likely this is where gold is gonna struggle the only way to fix this and for gold to remain bullish is by a strong decisive breakout above the resistance line on the RSI. Otherwise failure to do so does suggest that on a month to month basis more than likely now the next major trend seems to point to the downside. And we can take a look at the GDX. And it's going to give us pretty much the same type of a look showing potential for resistance after the break here coming off the highs there we just draw a straight line something like that and you see how this was resistance here we had a period where we moved above it and then stayed above it until we broke back below it. And since then again, this has been where the miners have struggled. Every time they come to this level, this has been a struggling area. So in the short term, if the miners are to move higher, they need and must break out above what has been resistance line going back to early 2013. Now if we take a look at silver, by way of SLV same type of a situation here we go back to this break again early 2013 off those highs draw our uniformity resistance line you see we had for a moment moved above it became support for the lows there we moved back below that line Again, remember, this is a long-term monthly chart. So this is over a period of many months, going back many years also. And this has been resistance over the last one, two, three years. So again, here, depending on what happens, either this time is different, either we can move above that line to continue pushing silver to the upside. Otherwise, failure to break out above the red line suggests that even here, silver on a month-to-month -month basis is also poised for the next swing trade to be down. Eric Moab with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. And so it is. Mwah.